As a New Yorker, I'm very aware of 9-11, of the Twin Towers that came down. Thousands of people died, property was destroyed. And the entire fabric of the city, the skyline that is so much part of New York, lost a key piece. So for people who live in mountain countries, to see that the peaks that have defined them, that have made them who they are, are changing, even if they're changing over decades, that's a rapid change. There are many types of environmental issues that are invisible, radiation, many types of pollution. But people look at mountains and they see them and they see the white masses of ice on the summits as they shrink. I remember a time when I was in Peru visiting a village and met a woman who was herding her sheep. She was talking about the sheep, about the pasture. I asked her about the glaciers. She said, when the glaciers are gone, when all that ice is gone, there'll be no more water. There's going to be uh, the end of life. There will be a mighty wind that will come and will just blow everything away. This was troubling for her. A story that she had heard as a girl and that had seemed remote was suddenly now much more tangible.